Hi, Leo, my love. Okay, so this message could be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Leo in the North Node. And um, I had to change my shirt, Leo. This, I feel like, is significant for some reason. Um, I realized during Scorpio's reading that I had pasta on my shirt. And I was just like, okay, yeah, this is crazy. Let me go ahead and change this because I didn't even realize it was there. Like, a stain so um i feel like there's something significant about you guys making a change because you realize um how something looks from another point of view or you're just getting a whole other point of view about something that you didn't really realize before um so this could be a mindset you know shift in perspective uh shift of identity clothes appearance aesthetic whatever it is i feel like you're shifting things internally and it's giving you a whole new look externally okay leo boss up on them then <laughs> i feel like you guys have like um a wardrobe malfunction and so you pop out at the last minute with a whole new look or a whole new style and it's just like where did you even get there from leo like i thought we was all <laughs> gonna pop out with this and you come out with something totally different cool that's cool all right so let's just get into the oracle i feel like i'm talking a lot so the first card that we have is breathe this moment matters most how can you focus on the moment and appreciate all that is well and then you have this all in divine order so allow how can you relax into the flow and go with the current of life okay this is interesting i'm not really sure what this is trying to say quite yet um how can you focus on the moment and appreciate all that is well how can you relax and go into the flow with the current of life so, Leo, there's something significant coming up about fine print. I feel like you guys need to reread something twice or uh, look at a situation twice or look at something for what it is. Like, there could be an energy of um, trying to do something the way that you've always done it or looking at something from the same lenses that you've always looked at them. Some of you guys need new glasses or, like, to up your prescription of the glasses that you have because maybe someone's eyesight is like deteriorating or you're just like i can't see like for nothing like i could see six months ago and now my eyesight is just getting worse or something like that something with the eyes is very significant here uh you could be getting a bird's eye view or uh you're up on a mountain all right so here we go leo let's stop yapping Venus. so we have the hierophant okay so you're committing to something you're committing to a brand new energy something is like motivating you or pushing you to uh commit yourself to something different so whatever it was that you believed in the past this is giving like fanatic energy it's giving energy of someone who is very dogmatic meaning like <laughs> once they believe something that's it that's that's it that's all like you can't convince them otherwise this is somebody who could be like very religious or very spiritual to the point where they don't want to hear other point of views it's just like no but i feel like you're coming through here um committing yourself to something that is unorthodox but i feel like this was always meant to be or this was always going to happen or you always were meant to kind of like um uh, see things from this point of view but i don't know somewhere along the lines like something got messed up for you or something got taken from you i hope this is making sense you could be dealing with a taurus or a scorpio here leo i feel like uh you're looking back on something and reflecting about how it made you look or sound or feel this is kind of the energy of like damn maybe i did too much or maybe i said too much or maybe i gave somebody too much power <laughs> or I uh, took too much power from somebody, okay? So somebody could be asking for forgiveness or wanting to uh, give someone an apology. Do that then. You could be wanting to apologize to a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Or they could be wanting to apologize to you. They're thinking obsessively about something that they said. But I feel like somebody needs to relax, breathe, calm down. It's okay. Like, don't think too much about what happened back then. Or don't try to obsess or, like, um, <clears throat> be too dogmatic about what happened. I feel like there's a need to uh, understand somebody and their actions for where they are right now. Not about what's right or wrong, okay? So, this almost feels like the energy of, like, you could be dealing with someone who is, like, a lot more elevated than you or a lot less elevated than you spiritually emotionally mentally it's like you could be more mature or more immature than someone else and 
you know, I feel like somebody was trying to help you or you were trying to help someone and they just didn't see it that way at that moment. It, it came off as like, you know, um, oh, they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to run me or they're trying to finesse me or they're trying to little sis me or little bro me. And it's just like, that's not what it was, Leo. Like something was meant for you to commit yourself to another path or another way of thinking or being, you know? Because something wasn't working anymore with the Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like something that you gave a lot of your time and energy to just was not it. Point blank. Like, at least not for that time, it wasn't it, you know? And so now that you are realizing, I feel like you're course correcting, which is beautiful. There's a lot of accountability in this spread here, Leo. Like, whether you have already expressed this to the person who, you know, is in the situation with you or not, I feel like you know, mentally, you're getting right with God or you're getting right with yourself and making the corrections that need to be made. And, you know, the universe is really proud of you for this. This is all in divine order. So, okay, you could have went through like a tumultuous situation just to get to like <laughs> the center or, you know, back to ground zero. But that's that's good. So you have a reset energy here. Don't beat yourself up. Try not to like beat anybody else up about it. You could be also dealing with a Libra. Or an Aries. So if you're dealing with a Libra or an Aries, I feel like this person is in deep regret about uh, <laughs> something in the past. Or like you could be regretting something surrounding this person. Like somebody acted a goddamn fool. I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that. But like somebody showed their entire ass. Like, And I think that somebody is thinking back about how unfair something was. Or like, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Why did I treat them like that? You know what I mean? Or, you know, I could have, I could have, should. this is just could have, should have, would have energy. I feel like just snip it. We're not even going to go into this because I feel like this is in the past here. And this is a part of the problem. Like somebody is just like thinking way too hard about like, oh, well, if I would have did this, then it, it would have did this. And if I would have did, it. listen, <laughs> breathe, relax. This moment is what matters most. What are you going to do with it? Again, I'm definitely getting apology energy like, you know, wipe your hands of it with an apology because I feel like this is what's really holding somebody up. Like somebody is waiting on an apology. OK, if you get it, cool. If you don't move on, like there's more to life that's coming up and that situation happened for a reason. So, you know, sometimes whether the catalyst of your spiritual growth is still in your life or not, recognize that situation for what it was. Don't try to cling on to something because you feel like you know it was don't try to cling on to something because you feel like it was uh meant to last forever or something like that i feel like somebody came in and touched you in a really positive way and it's just like damn i need that you know i, I need that back no leo like okay you learned what you learned from that person you know let them go if the situation cannot work if they're not choosing to forgive you if you're not choosing to forgive them you know you needed to hear what that person had to say they needed to hear what you had to say point blank what's the overall energy here i feel like somebody said a whole lot of nothing just to get to a point where somebody like went out of their way to prove a point this also feels like setup energy like you know Somebody like put together a whole symphony, a whole orchestra, a whole plan to like get somebody or to do something or to like, and then it just, it didn't work or it didn't go the way that they thought it was going to go. And now somebody's in regret about it. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. But I feel like this is causing somebody to be off balance because they're thinking way too hard about the past. It's, it's all good. You know, I feel like, you know, even the people who um, were involved in this have made peace with the situation and have let it go. You know, maybe they think about it from time to time, too. But it's not like this is unsalvageable here, though. That's the thing. It's not unsalvageable. But, you know, uh, everybody has their own way of getting to the same point. So let that person do them. You know, don't worry about how they're going to feel if you do you. Fuck it, you know. Focus on this moment. Relax. Go with the flow. Everything happens for a reason, Leo, you know? 
but I feel like for you specifically, this has brought you back to center. Um, I'm not sure that I want to clarify anything here, but if anything, this is a very odd reading. This is a very odd layout for this, like, what's the seven of wands in reverse? I feel like now that somebody has the, um, the... <laughs> now that somebody has the um, answers that they need to move forward, it's like for some reason they want to go backwards. It's like you now realize what you could have done better and now you want to go back to redo it. I don't know if that's going to be an option, Leo. <laughs> Especially if you are dealing with a Taurus, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. I don't know. Somebody wants to go back and forth or somebody wants somebody to give up first or something like that. This is very competitive. And I feel like it's competitive or like you're playing mental gymnastics about the situation so much so that it's throwing you off. Somebody wants to get something right at all costs. This also feels like somebody could be taking a test, you know, and like, you know, you're you're willing to like ditch all of the paperwork you've done all of the progress you put in just to start over so you can get a higher score why you're still gonna pass so why would you want to start all the way over just so you can do it right just so it can look better own your mistakes own your flaws or someone else needs to do this this also feels like you know someone else that you're dealing with leo doesn't want to come back or they don't want to um right their wrongs because they feel like it's too late. They feel like they fucked their image up. They feel like they fucked their money up. They feel like they fucked up their reputation. And now they just they just want to go away altogether. This was like somebody is afraid to make a mistake or someone's parents never taught them it's okay to be human. Embrace your humanness, my love. I feel like I need to pull one more Oracle card for you guys. And then I'm going to... Then I'm going to leave it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I got to say this again, though. But if you're dealing with a Taurus, this person is done. This is just going to be a back and forth situation for you, Leo. Uh, Midas touch. Things are working out in your favor. In what ways are you abundant right now? Yeah, things worked worked out for you exactly how they were supposed to. Stop being so uh, fixated on on everything. Just just free your mind. Some of y'all need a blunt. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like some of you guys like quit smoking or you quit like certain vices, but that might actually help you right now. Take a shot. Take a take a puff. <laughs> take a shroom. Go meditate. Go put your feet in some grass. Just woo sa, you know? One more card for the temperance. And see, you know what's funny? I said I was going to stop this reading two minutes ago and I'm still going. Why? I don't know. Six of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like um, you're passing, you're passing down knowledge about something to someone else. <laughs> Somebody wants to go back to someone to be like, I finally get it. I get what you were saying. You were right. Like, I, I understand. You know, also some of you, if you have small children, you need to be very careful about what it is that you are exposing them to, especially if y'all are like with somebody and y'all are arguing back and forth in front of kids. Please stop doing that. Please stop um, letting your kids see certain uh, situations that are very adult themed. They don't need to be in the room when you're having certain conversations. They don't need to be in your presence when you are pissed the fuck off. Make sure that you are... Um, prioritizing your energy too to where like you're not projecting how you feel on other people that are not even involved because that's what this is looking like too it's looking like something else in your life is lacking because of your instability or you're dealing with unstable people and they're rubbing off on you or your kids leo all right my love i'm done for real this time <laughs>